All right. Welcome back, everybody. We are talking about the organization ProAct ND and how it is an important goal to help students build 21st century skills, including communication, collaboration, creativity, and critical thinking. So joining us right now are Darren Slack, the CEO of ProAct ND, and then Rakaya Thomas, who has participated in ProAct ND as a student. So welcome. Thank, Thank you both you. so much for being here. We appreciate your time. Thanks for having us, Andrew. Absolutely. Okay, let's go back, because you told me in the green room, like, I don't know how much time do we have to talk about my journey, but that's what it is, right? Yeah. A journey of starting ProAct Indie. So tell me how this started. Well, as someone who grew up with very low self-esteem because I, I, I have a perceived disability in stuttering. Okay, and so okay. I know what it feels like not to be seen. Right. And so I found my voice and discovered my power by giving back to others in service trips and mission trips around the world. Oh, I love and, that. And I noticed in all of my travels, most of the people being served looked like me, and yeah. the people that were doing the service did not. Okay. And I realized and noticed that many people that are being served in vulnerable populations, mm -hmm. they yearn to be seen. Yeah. And so I wanted and had a vision to create something that, to create an organization, a program that looked at youth Mm -hmm. who are oftentimes unseen and overlooked to engage in the service, yeah. like the National Honor Societies, the Key Clubs, and Rotaracts, and empower them to not be the, the, the recipients of service, yeah. but the givers and creators of service. Mm -hmm. So I founded Pro Act in 2010 with the heart and vision to see youth and their communities engaged with each other mm -hmm. differently. And we now are able to see youth, individuals, and organizations transform from this default focus of a default focus of the inward mindset which yeah. is all focus on yourself um, to move them to what others. an outward mindset is yeah. to see people as people well and speaking of students do you want to introduce us to this connection yeah so I'm so excited to be here with Rakai Thomas and she has been a part of our program for two years now Wow! and she's now at Northview Middle School in Washington Township and she's been on our podcast, and she just excels and has discovered a passion for giving back to others. So, well, Rakaya, yes. So, Miss yeah. Rakaya, I have to know what has this been like for you, and what have you loved so much about it? Okay, what I love so much about ProLife yeah. is that it well, it brings confidence into people. Yeah, it, it really gives them to like be yourself like more loud and like yeah. I don't know. You think students struggle with that because I have a daughter who just turned ten, and I, I see that even in her age as well. What what do you see among your peers or other friends your age? I just see them not wanting to do stuff like yeah, just like let other people handle. Right, and, and this is something that you wanted to target. This is a big reason of why you decided to start this. Exactly. Yeah. yeah most of our youth, especially youth that are black and brown, yeah. like Rakai and I. Yeah. They're oftentimes overlooked to participate in the community mm -hmm. um, because they're so used to being served that there are not many opportunities to empower our youth. So they kind of let everybody else take care of it and they're in the shadows, so to right. speak. Yeah. yeah, and they're not seen as leaders. But yeah. we believe that our youth have the skills and assets already to know what needs to happen for them in yeah. their communities. Like you have everything inside you already. You, you need, need to give them a voice. Sure. All right. Yeah. Very quickly, we've got to wrap this up, but what's the future for this? Where is it going? The future of ProAct is to turn the world outward. That's our vision. We want to see the world and help people understand that people are not objects. Yeah. People are people. Mm -hmm. And we need to understand okay. the implications of that. Well, we appreciate your vision, your goal, and then, Rakaya, your interest in this as well. Thank you guys for doing so much to inspire. Yeah, you did good girl. I need one of those, too. That's what it's all about. All right, all the info. One too, oh, and I give you one, too. On lifestylelive.tv. I'm going to leave you hanging for the QR code right there on the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. George, this really is what it's all about, right? It really is.